Let's do sports. My name is Benedict Tosin. Now, Deputy Sports Minister Pius Enam Hadide says uh, there is a consideration to send fans to India to support the Black Star Letter at this year's FIFA and the 17 World Cup. Now, after what happened in Brazil 2014, where a commission of inquiry was set to look into Ghana's poor participation at the tournament and how fans were treated in Brazil, now, this consideration has come as a shock to many. Now, uh, Pius insists getting supporters to India is crucial to the team's chance of winning the competition. Well, we are considering, like I said, we are considering, it is said that in football, supporters have become the 12th player on the field. And so we are considering, uh, first of all, mobilizing Ghanaians who are already in India, and there are quite a number of them to come to the stadium to support the team. We are also considering getting a small team from Ghana to augment the efforts of our brothers and sisters that we shall be mobilizing uh, in India. We are still considering. So let's talk the Waffle competition and the Black Stars B will take on Niger in the semi-finals of the competition on Thursday. That's tomorrow. Niger set up a clash with the host nation uh, after finishing second in Group B following a 2-1 uh, defeat to Benin on Tuesday evening. Now, Niger fought to the final group game, led four points, uh, but relinquished their top spot with a defeat uh, to Benin uh, as they finished as runners-up in that group. Now, the results uh, saw off uh, Ivory Coast and Senegal, who drew goalless at the competition uh, the Cape Coast Stadium exited the competition. So what it means is that Ivory Coast and Senegal are out of the competition. Niger uh, through Benin through as well. So the semi-finals will start tomorrow at the Cape Coast Stadium. We'll have the first game uh, which uh, Niger will come up against uh, Nigeria. Sorry, Ghana rather will take on Niger. That will be in the evening uh, tomorrow, 6 p.m. And the first game will be Nigeria-Benin. So away from the Wafu, Islam uh, Slimani's superb strike helped Leicester City uh, see of Westport Liverpool at the Kimpa Stadium to reach the fourth round of the EFL Cup. Now, summer signings uh, Oxley Chamberlain and Dominic Solanke both missed good opportunities for the visitors who named a much changed side. Solanke. Coutinho and Didi sticks out a leg and still doesn't stop him. And Solanke gets there ahead of the goalkeeper. And lifts it onto the roof of the net. Just Coutinho there. Brilliant. Gray. Can't get it on time. In the on top four. Can't get out of Liverpool. Here's Gray trying to run at the heart of that Liverpool defence. And he gets his shot away. And that will give the whole team some encouragement. Yeah, that's twice now. He's second half. He's... Here's Chilwell. Morgan wins the header. It's Okizaki! The Leicester substitute has his say! And from adversity comes good for the home team. He was only thrown on because of the injury to Leonardo Ajoa. And it's one to treat. Well, Bridge with a cross that deflects. It's a horrible miss kick and really ended up with a chance for Oxley Chamberlain. Woodburn going for it. And Hamer had given up on that one. He knew there was nothing he could do to affect it. Woodburn trying to bend it across. Danny Ings on the scene and he just couldn't apply the touch. Second half and they did in the first. Slimani finding Okazaki. Slimani again. Oh, it's a stormer of a finish from Islam Slimani, which may just finish the job and carry Leicester into the fourth round of the Carabao Cup. No, it's, it's the top corner. So Leicester still defeated Liverpool by two goals to nil, and by virtue of that result, Liverpool are out of the EFL Cup. Well, the likes of uh, Swansea City, West Ham United have all put qualification to the next stage of the competition. Tonight, 
will be the turn of uh, Chelsea. They will uh, take on Nottingham Forest at Stamford Bridge. Manchester United will take on Burton with Manchester City up against West Bromwich Albion. There is more on these matches. Uh, we'll get you the preview uh, on uh, Sports Today. That's at 2 with Nathaniel Lato. I'm Benedict Tosu. Thanks so much for your company.